guys. All right, it is Monday, first day of Contemporary Thon. And this week I decided I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more of what I do during the week, if you will. So this will definitely be um, a little, mainly about what I'm reading, obviously it's a wrap up. So I need to you know keep you updated and all that. But I'm gonna also show you a little bit more of what we're doing just on an everyday basis. And, um, so I'm gonna try to remind myself to be good about, you know, remembering to turn my camera on every so often and let you know what's going on. And um, I think that that is a good way also to show you how I fit in reading with kind of a busy schedule. So that's gonna be my plan for this week. So Monday morning, okay, uh, my girls are at school and I am gonna be heading to the gym this week. I need a solid good week of working out and legitimately making an effort. And I haven't been doing that lately. So I said, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to do that this week. At the gym, I listen to audiobooks. As of right now, all I'm doing is going on the treadmill. I usually try to do uh, 45 minutes at a minimum. So that's a good chunk of time to listen to an audiobook. And I'm not doing anything else. I'm just walking. And um, so that is a good way for me to kind of consume a book while I'm, you know, exercising at the same time. And I'm going to do that this morning. I'm going to start by listening to This Is How It Always Is by Lori Frankel. And um, I do have some errands to run after the gym, so I'm going to do those real quick. And then when I get home, I can actually sit down and read. I do have a couple little things to do on the computer, like I have some emails to send and stuff, but that doesn't take me very long. So... Um, then I can sit down and I can pick up a physical book. I'm not sure which one I'm going to pick yet. So I will let you know when I figure that out. And yeah, I'm excited. Today's going to be a little bit busy. Um, my girls do have some after school activities today as well. And um, we will see how it goes. But my older daughter actually went to school not feeling all that great. So I'm also kind of keeping an eye on my phone to make sure the school doesn't call. <laughs> um it wasn't really anything to warrant keeping her home. Um, so hopefully she'll just kind of feel better as she wakes up a little bit more and all that. But she's been kind of coughing this weekend and I could tell she didn't really feel that great. She wasn't thrilled about having to go, but it's like, sorry, kid, I have stuff to do. So <laughs> um, hopefully she'll feel better. But all right, that's going to be it for now. I'm going to head to the gym. I'm going to do my stuff all the while while I'm walking and running my errands. I'm going to be listening to that book and then... Um, we will go from there. All right, guys, so I'm back from the gym. I did a good job. I ran a couple errands, everything was good. So now I am ready to pick a physical book to start. I did wanna talk a little bit first about the audiobook. Wow, okay, so this is how it always is by Lori Frankel. And it's an audiobook, so I'm not sure how far into it I am, but I did listen to quite a bit. And I listened, you know, at in the car, at the gym, in the shower, all that stuff. Now, ooh, <laughs> this book has already broken my heart quite a few times, like already. And a few just quotes and lines are really standing out to me. And um, so this follows a young boy named Claude. He's in preschool. And, you know, he's part of a family. He has oh gosh, four older brothers, I think. They're all boys. He has expressed that he wants to be a girl. Um, you know, they talk about what do you want to be when you grow up and blah, blah, blah. And he says a girl. And they're like, oh, okay. You know, like kind of brushing it off or whatever, you know, just like he says he wants to be a cat. Um, and man, like there was one conversation they were having with him. Um, and it was about how he wanted to wear a dress to school and they let him do it at home. Like, you know, at home he wears dresses and 
he wore like a pink bikini, you know, running around in sprinklers and stuff. So at home, they don't care what he does or wears or whatever. Um, but he wanted to wear one to school. And they had to have that conversation with him um, that, you know, the way that it went was one of the parents said, boys don't usually wear dresses to school. And he said back, I'm not usually. And I went, oh my God, <laughs> like, because that's true. Like, you know, he's not part of the norm. You know what I mean? Um, so that line like got me. I, I'm still thinking about that line. And um, there was something else too. I can't think of it off the top of my head though, but there've been a few times where I just went, ooh, that's good. And um, yeah, so right now they're, um, they had a conversation with his brothers and his brothers are really advocating that they not let him um, like dress up as a fairy for Halloween and wear dresses to school and all that. And it's not coming from a place of um, intolerance. It's coming from a place of they want him, they want it, they don't want him to deal with bullies and getting beat up and getting made fun of at school. So like it's they're concerned for his safety versus, you know, not letting not wanting him to be the way that he is. Um so that was an interesting scene as well. So it's very good. It's very good. And oh, there was another one. Um oh, he was talking about his clothes and you know where where he's going to wear clothes and he says, you know, I'll wear real clothes at home and I'll wear I'll wear boy clothes at school. So for him, his real clothes are dresses. That was a big one too. Like, you know, I'll wear the real stuff at home. And I was like, oh man, like hard hitting, man. Ooh. So really enjoying that. It's very good. And the writing is fantastic as well. I'm really enjoying the writing style. So, okay. Now <laughs> that's my update for that one. I'm going to go ahead and pick a physical book. Okay. So I have my contemporary thon books here in this cute little rose gold basket that I got at Walmart. It's so cute. It was only like $2. It's so adorable. Um, but it's perfect for holding like, you know, either your monthly TBR or readathon books or whatever. So uh, this is sitting on the floor in my bedroom, but I have 99% mine. I have Love and Other Words, The Last Letter, The Promise of Stardust, and Archibald Full Frontal. And I think think now that I'm looking at them I think I'm going to start with the Christina Lauren because Christina Lauren is a um two author person so it's two people writing this and they merged their names for one pen name and it's always I've always wanted to read their books, you know, and I have two of them now. This is the second book I have by them. And she has another one coming out. Um, I'm just going to keep saying she because it's easier. But um, there's another one coming out this year, I think actually in the next couple of months, maybe April that is coming out. So I really want to give this author a try and see what I think. I think that I would really like um, these books. And so... I'm going to go ahead and get started on this one. This is kind of the one that's calling to me first. And it's a big one, guys. It's, it's over 400 pages, but hopefully it will still be a quick read. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, guys. So it's a little after one o'clock right now. I'm about to sit down and eat my lunch, but I want to show you what I'm going to do while I'm eating lunch. Okay, so this is my lunch. It's like a banquet bowl, like one of those mega bowls, and it's got mashed potatoes, fried chicken, gravy, corn, and cheese in it. Um, I really like their mac and cheese bowls. They have like these mega buffalo mac and cheese bowls and they're so delicious, but I'm having a hard time finding them, of course, because I found something I like and then no one's going to have it in stock. But <laughs> I grabbed one of these today at Walmart earlier just to give this one a try. Um, but while I am eating, I'm going to use this little book holder that my daughter Kaylin got me for Christmas. And it's, you know, you can stand it up so it folds up like that. And then when you're not using it, this part detaches and you can fold it down as well so it lays flat but it holds your book open um it's a little bit awkward right now just because i'm at the very beginning of the book and this is a thick book so it's not sitting like completely down but it's up enough that it's holding it up and it's not going to move i just have to be a little careful when i turn the pages so i don't rip anything but yeah so that is what i'm going to do while i'm eating so i can still read and eat it at the same time and i have a bell bookmark 
totally stole that from Kaylin. It's mine now. All right, guys, so I have probably about 10, 20 minutes before my kids get home from school, but I have been reading and I'm 70 pages into this already and it is just so easy to read and I'm super intrigued about what has happened between these two characters who met when they were 13 and apparently were like the love of each other's lives and then something happened and um, the girl, Macy, kind of ran off and left him and now they're reunited 11 years later and I need to know why, what happened, what happened? Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying this, like really, truly. So I'm going to keep on plugging away until my kids get home. Um, my older daughter, Kaylin's not feeling very well and actually got a call from the school nurse. Um, they couldn't really recommend sending her home because she doesn't have a fever. She just, her throat hurts. So I told her, you have 30 minutes of school left. Suck it up. <laughs> Get on the bus and come home. And we'll see how she feels the rest of the day. So it's up in the air whether or not we're going to go to volleyball. I don't want to make her go if she's really not feeling well. Um, and we'll see about school tomorrow. We'll see. I'm not quite sure um, how she's going to feel. But but we'll see how it all goes. Um, so I will probably just update you tomorrow and let you know how it goes, but um, this is going to be my priority for the rest of the day. So any chance I get, I'm going to be reading this and then tonight as well, which is kind of when I get the majority of my reading done. So, But so far, I'm absolutely loving it. Good morning. It's Tuesday. Okay, so last night I read up to page 135, I believe, in Love and Other Words. And... I'm loving it, you guys. I'm just, I want to devour it today, which I plan to do. And um, yeah, I ended up falling asleep pretty early last night for me. <laughs> so um, didn't get as far as I wanted, but it was still pretty solid. And I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, okay, so Tuesday. Today's a little different because my older daughter is home from school. She's not feeling well still. So she needs a day to rest. So um she doesn't have a fever, so I don't really have a legitimate reason to take her to the doctor, so I'm not going to do that as of right now, um, but I think she just needs to rest for a day and see if she can feel better. So uh, last time she had a really sore throat, she just she took a day off and she felt much better after that, so we're going to hope that that's what this is too. But she's on the couch all day um, playing Kingdom Hearts 3 right now, but I'm going to have her stop in a little bit to read because I said... If you're not going to school, you're at least going to do some reading and stuff today, too. You're not just going to play video games all day. So she's totally fine with that. Um, fun fact, she is currently reading The School for Good and Evil, the first book, and she's kind of obsessed with it. So she loves that book. Okay, um, since I am going to be at the house all day today, <laughs> we are, um, you know, just going to be resting for a little bit. I'm going to probably sit in there with her and read for a while. I'm going to be reading majority of the day, but first I do need to do a school assignment. So, um, I just have a discussion post that I need to get done. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. It won't take me very long. So I'm going to go ahead and get that out of the way. And then I can just sit and read for a majority of the day. And I'm super, super excited for it. Um, so I am going to do that and, um, I'm watching a little bit of booktube right now. I'm watching actually Chelsea's um, Contemporary Thon day one vlog. So I'm going to watch that while I um, kind of get my assignment ready. But um, yeah, that's it. So it's going to be a beautiful day outside. It's going to be 70 today, which is the warmest it's been in a while. So that's exciting. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. That's all that we have going on. We're just going to be home nursing my sick one and just trying to get her better so she can go back to school tomorrow. Um, and that's it. So that's my update for right now. I will definitely let you know later on, probably close to when my younger one gets home from school, how far I've gotten, but I plan to just definitely pick up Love in Other Words and focus on that solely today. That's going to be my plan. Um, and I'm excited about it because I'm really, really enjoying it. 
I have cup of coffee number two. My sick one on the couch. She's playing Kingdom Hearts 3. And I am diving into this bad boy. Hey guys, okay, so um, it's Wednesday, like almost three o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday. I didn't update, obviously, last night. Um, and then this morning, like I'm just now sitting down to even have any time to read and I don't have that much time before my kids get home. So I don't know how successful I'm gonna be until after my kids go to bed tonight. It's probably when I'm gonna be able to do the most reading today unfortunately. Um, I did listen to more of This Is How It Always Is while I was kind of running around doing my errands today. So I did listen to um, a bit of that. Okay. Last night, I read and I was definitely, you know, throughout the day I was in and out of the book. Um, but last night after the girls went to bed, I just hunkered down and I was up until one o'clock in the morning last night, finishing Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren because I couldn't not finish it. I think I read majority of this book yesterday. I got to 130, 135 maybe on Monday, and then yesterday I read the rest of it. Okay, I don't even have the words. I devoured this the way I would devour a Colleen Hoover book. And I loved it the same as I would love a Colleen Hoover book. The characters were so complex and interesting. Them together and their bond and their friendship was insane to me. Like I could only pray to have something like that. And I'm in love with Elliot. <laughs> um, he's one of my new favorite characters of like all time. I have such a crush on him. I love him so much. I feel like he was perfect. He made mistakes, but he was still perfect. Like just, mm. okay. Um, I did not even like tell you what this is about. So this follows Elliot and Macy. They meet when they are 13 um, they end up being next door neighbors when Macy's dad buys a kind of weekend cottage type thing right next to Elliot's house. And this takes place in Northern California. And so they really only see each other occasionally on the weekends that Macy is there. But they form a pretty big bond right off the start. Um, they both love to read. That's how their bond kind of forms. And their friendship is just unshakable. It really is. And they have this great friendship for a very, very long time before things turn more serious. And then things kind of fall apart from there. And there's a also a time jump. So this goes back and forth between um, when they are adults <laughs> and then um, you go back to when they are 13 and you, you go through their entire friendship like growing up and how their friendship progressed and everything like that. Meanwhile, and you're jumping back and forth to, um, it's 11 years later, like after their friendship kind of ended. Um, mm, that's all I'm going to say, but oh my gosh, I just, I can't say enough about this book. It's fantastic. It had me interested the entire time. I loved these characters so incredibly much. I'm going to be thinking about it for a while, you guys. This is my favorite book of the year so far. And it's one of those things where I finished it and I wanted to, like, I was upset that it was over. I wanted more. I wanted it to keep going. Like, I wanted another 400 pages of these characters. Um, so this is one that I would absolutely reread. It's staying on my shelves. I will keep this forever and ever. It's a new favorite. And I absolutely just, mm, I can't. Okay. Loved it. All right. So now I'm going to pick another book to read because I'm finished with that one. I'm still listening to the other one, which I will, you know, be just kind of chipping away at this week. So for now, I think I'm going to pick up um, my next one. I'm looking to see what the page count is before I hold it up for you guys. 
um, what the actual page count is. This one is less than 400 pages. It's about 339. So I am going to pick up 99% Mind by Sally Thorne. This is a book that was sent to me for review. So I'm going to read and review it. It has come out already on the 29th. Um, so the publisher and I kind of agreed to like a mid-February type thing to feature and do a review for. So um, I wanted to go ahead and read it this week so that I can go ahead and get that up for you guys soon. But this will be my first Sally Thorne book. I have not read The Hating Game that everybody raved about. So I don't have that expectation of this one. So I think that might help me enjoy it more because a lot of people who loved The Hating Game were a little bit let down by this one. So I think that's going to work to my advantage this time. And I do plan to read The Hating Game at some point. I just haven't gotten my hands on it yet. So um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this one. I have about half an hour till the kids come home. So I'm going to go ahead and get started now, see what I can do. My daughter has volleyball tonight. So um, she did go to school today. She's feeling much better. And we are going to be going to volleyball practice. So um, I'll probably take it with me. Volleyball is hard for me to um, read because there are balls all over the place <laughs> and I've been hit quite a few times. So I kind of have to keep my guard up a little bit when I'm there. So it's hard for me to have my nose in a book when I'm trying to protect my face. Um, <laughs> so there's going to be that. I still always try. I don't know. I'm probably not going to get much read, but um, I'll take it anyway. And then definitely after kids go to bed tonight, I will for sure be trying to knock out a chunk. So this will probably be my only update for today. So I will let you know tomorrow how I end up doing. But tomorrow will definitely be a better day for me. Tomorrow, all I have to do is do a little bit of schoolwork and that's it. So um, tomorrow is going to be much more conducive for me for reading. But I'm excited to get started on this one. Hey guys, it's Valentine's Day, also known as day four of Contemporaryism. And it is noon right now. I had kind of a busier morning than I was expecting only because I got my school assignment done. And then I ended up going over to my, okay, bear with me, <laughs> my sister's mother-in-law's house. So my sister and her husband's mother, um, she sells Color Street nails, like the nail polish strips that are kind of all the rage right now. And I have been kind of eyeing them a little bit, lurking a little bit. My sister's using them and is absolutely loving them, raves about them. And so I said, okay, fine. So I sent her a text and I said, I think I want to try some of these. And she said, I'm home. So I went over there. She had everything set out and um, I ended up getting my nails done. Look at how beautiful those are, you guys. They're glittery. They're beautiful. The glitter's not coming off because I hate glitter. Like if glitter's in my house, it drives me nuts, but these do not come off. It's, it's on there. It's nail polish. So um, she put them on in less than 20 minutes and they are absolutely stunning. I love the way that these look. So I ended up getting a few sets and I'm going to try them out for the next few months and see what I think. Um, but they are just, they're so beautiful. She said they last anywhere from usually like a week to 10 days, maybe sometimes longer if you're not too rough on them, but I don't know. We'll see how long they last for me, but they're gorgeous. So I went and got that done, which was nice. And now I am getting my lunch ready right now and I'm going to read. So last night I didn't read very much. Oh, I got a whole 20 pages into this one. So this is my priority today. We do not have any where to go today at all. And the only thing that we have to do later is uh, my daughter Layla has a spelling test and a vocabulary test tomorrow. So I'm going to have to make sure she's ready for those. I think she's good on vocabulary, but the spelling we need to work a little bit more on. So um, those will be priorities for me later over um, some other things. But yeah, other than that, I will be reading. And hopefully tonight I can read a little bit, you know, more in this book. So I'm excited. And the first 20 pages, like, yeah, pretty, pretty good, pretty decent. I'm enjoying the writing and, um, you know, we just met our main character, Darcy. She's going to be a character. Uh, so we'll see how it goes, but that is it 
for right now. So I'm just going to be eating my lunch and reading for the next at least three hours. I'm legitimately going to be sitting here reading because about three hours my kids come home from school and I really just want to read as much as this as I can today because I was busier this morning than I thought, which is totally fine. But I did get some stuff done I needed to get done that I don't have to worry about later. Okay, that is going to be it for right now. I'm going to read. I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, guys, so I read another 24 pages in here just now. Um, so the first two chapters are read. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Um, it's not super capturing my attention right now. I'm kind of just like reading a couple pages and then putting it down and then reading a couple pages and putting it down. So it's not really holding my attention. Um, so I think I need to change the pace. So what I'm going to do is put it down for now and I'm going to listen to my audiobook and I'm going to try to finish that today. I have five hours left in it, so I'm halfway through the book. Because it's a five hour left, I listen to it on double speed. That's the speed I'm listening to. And I can do that in two and a half hours. I have plenty of time to do that today. So I think I'm going to do that instead. So I'm going to finish that book today. That's going to be my plan. I have an hour and a half until kids come home. So I can listen to majority of it that way before the kids get here. So I can kind of, maybe I could pick up some stuff around my house or, you know, whatever while I'm listening to it. And then I'll need to finish it up while my kids are home, but it's fine. Um, usually once we kind of get all our after school stuff done, then they kind of do their own thing and I don't have to, you know, be hovering over them or have a whole lot of interaction. They kind of want to do their own thing after school. So, um, yeah, that's what, in a, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just, I don't know. It's fine. Like this one is fine, but I don't fully understand the banter that's going on between the two characters right now so it's it's Tom and Darcy so these are the two main characters and um they have they're not strangers so they've known each other since they were kids and they are seeing each other again for the first time in a while but I don't know their banter back and forth is not making a lot of sense to me I don't have enough of their background to understand what they're saying to each other and why so I don't know it's kind of throwing me off a little bit okay because of that, I'm going to go try to finish uh, This Is How It Always Is instead. That way I have two books under my belt on day four because I'm kind of a little discouraged that I've only finished one book. So um, I'm going to make it two today. So that was, okay, I'm going to go. I'm just going to go. Guys, okay, didn't read too much of this last night. I did pick it up, but... I only like got a few pages in and then I fell asleep. So I'm on page 49 right now. Um, do plan to try to read some more today. We'll see how it goes. But I did finish my audiobook yesterday. Um, this is How It Always Is by Lori Frankel. I really, really liked it. It was very hard hitting. Um, it made you feel a lot of things and yeah, just like really good points and it was really good. The characters were fantastic as well. And um, there was just one little section in there that didn't make a ton of sense to me and I didn't enjoy that part quite as much. But overall, it was a really good book. I really liked it. So two books down now, which is good. I'm going to try at a minimum to finish this this weekend and that might be all I end up doing. So yeah, but today is grocery shopping day and my husband's actually off work. So we're gonna go together, which is gonna be nice. And um, yeah, we'll see, but we do have a couple plans over the weekend as well. So uh, we'll see how it goes. But I think just this one is gonna be my priority for the rest of the weekend. That's probably gonna end up being it for me for this round, which is not a ton. It would only be three books, but I was a little busy, <laughs> so it is what it is. Okay, um, I'm gonna go get our Friday started. Gotta get these girls to school and all that good stuff, but um, I will check back in later and let you know how it goes. 
Hey guys, okay, it's Saturday and I read a bit more in this last night. I'm a little more than halfway through now. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about it though, honestly. It's fine, but I'm still struggling with the banter between these two. And I don't, it feels a little bit disconjointed. It's just, you know, one minute Tom is on the other side of the room and then the next sentence, you know, he's touching her neck. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. He was just over on the other side of the room. When did he cross the room? And it's just those little things that are kind of throwing me off a little bit with this. Um, Darcy is also very sexual and can't like can't stop thinking about it or insinuating about it and it's kind of driving me a little bit nuts just a little bit just like keep it in your pants and talk to this man you know he's supposed to be one of your best friends it's a little confusing <laughs> with that but I don't know so it's fine but I'm I don't know I just don't know how I feel about it right now I've had a few points where I kind of wanted to DNF it, but I'm not going to. I'm going to because this is a review book. The publisher sent it to me. I've agreed to do a review, so I'm going to. Um, but I'm, again, a little more than halfway, so I will finish it between today and tomorrow before the end of the readathon, but I don't know. I'm a little I'm not sure. And we'll see how it goes. So I will probably just update you when I finish it and let you know what I thought. So um, it'll probably be tomorrow. I'm going to keep plugging away at it, uh, but we'll see. Today we are going to go see the Lego movie too. Yes. Yep. We're going to go see that. I think we're going to take my um, niece and nephews as well. So we're going to make a big trip out there and go see the movie. Um, and then we may hit Target, I think, while we're out there. Okay. And that should be it for today. And then I'll, other than that, I'll be reading. So, um, yeah, we're going to see, but I will let you know now I'm very underwhelmed by this and having some issues. Hey guys. Okay. Um, coming to you from my car. This is literally the only alone time I'm going to have today. So we are going to, uh, wrap it up here. It is actually Monday morning. Um, but it's a holiday, so everyone's off and home and all that stuff. So I have snuck off to the gym, but I wanted to go ahead and just close out the vlog. So I finished 99% mine by Sally Thorne and I only gave it a two stars. I, I just didn't like it. I really, there wasn't much about it that I liked. Um, it, I just didn't like the main character. I didn't like the way she treated Tom. She literally treated him like a sex object and it bothered me. <laughs> um, I didn't think that the writing was done well. I felt like it was kind of disjointed and like certain things didn't make sense because, you know, I'd be like, well, why is he touching your hand? He was you know, across the room two seconds ago, you know, in the last sentence. So just things like that really bothered me. And it felt almost rushed. And yeah, I don't know, it just it completely missed the mark for me. So that was unfortunate. But I will have a review video for that up uh, probably later this week. So I'll talk a little bit more in depth about some of those things and why those things bothered me and all that. So I'll save it for that. But uh, yeah, so but to recap, I read Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren, which was a five-star read, my favorite book of the year so far. I read This Is How It Always Is by Lori Frankel on audio, which was fantastic on audio, and that was a four-star read. I really liked it. And then 99% Mine was a two-star. So overall, I mean, that was a fine readathon. It wasn't my best <laughs> by far, but it was good. So got a couple things read that I needed to read and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and close it here. Um, again, I apologize for just not vlogging very well. Um, I just kept forgetting to get my phone out. So I, I need to make a goal of, you know, when I do vlogs to 
have them be a little bit more consistent and you know if, if I'm gonna put some stuff in usually Mondays and Tuesdays are really good days and I'm you know vlogging and I'm remembering to pull my camera out and I'm taking little video clips and stuff I need to do that more consistently throughout the week because usually by Saturday and Sunday I just don't do it anymore so I need to be better about that um, so I'm gonna work on that I promise <laughs> all right thanks for hanging out with me today guys and um, I will see you guys again very soon hope you have a great day